Hey everybody, welcome. I'm Bonnie. So I'm gonna give you guys a minute to get on here. First of all, hopefully you guys are seeing this sideways. I am doing this video live in our amazing essential oils VIP group. And so welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to our class. Like I said, I'm gonna to try to keep this about 30 minutes, especially because I have to go pick up my kids from school. But I wanted to welcome you to our, our group. This is a community of oil lovers from beginners all the way to advanced users of oils. Okay, so welcome. Thanks for getting on. I see new faces getting on. If you guys are just getting on, please let me know where you're from, what country, what state, and let me know where you are in your oil journey, because like I said, we have so many different people in here. Hey, welcome. All right, so I'll share my story quickly, you guys. I just got started with oils about a couple of years ago after a long search of trying to find something that was going to help boost my immunity. So I'm a mom of four kids and um, ages or grades eight through kindergarten, so all in between. And I was suffering with my own health, um, just being natural mama from the beginning. I started my entire marriage being natural and like trying to make all my own food and all that kind of stuff. Um, but slowly I was getting more tired, more fatigued. Um, the doctor said I had adrenal fatigue and I was doing all these things, but then ended up, ended up that I actually had Lyme disease. And so I wanted to get something that was going to make me feel better from the inside out. And honestly, I was the biggest skeptic. I didn't think essential oils were going to work, but I did want to cross them off the list saying I've tried it because I literally was like trying every single thing that I was reading on the internet and all the different things. And so to my surprise, I started feeling better immediately. I started having better symptoms with my hormones, me meaning like better PMS and ovulations. I had like really bad symptoms, cold and flu symptoms. Um, Again, I'm not here to cure or treat or prevent anything, but I just, that's my story. I have more on my blog at bonniedonahue.com. The whole story is written out, but basically, I was never looking for oils. They just came into my life, and I know that's a lot of you guys, too, that I hear your stories. I work with thousands of women that it's like the same thing. They went out, and they didn't even know, you know, oils existed, and now they can't imagine their lives without oils. So what I want to do today is talk about my favorite thing. I don't know if I can push this camera back any further. You guys are like only getting part of my head here. <laughs> um, I love talking to about oils like as a way beginner because that was me. I was a beginner. I had to kind of navigate through oils myself and reading things online. So I just like to break it down. Hey Shelly, super easy and basic stuff that any mom or any woman can bring into her home and feel like empowered that she can do this. It doesn't have to be complicated. It just has to be simple. Um, we'll talk about just as easy as opening up the cap and breathing it in. You're going to start getting benefits. So that's what I want to do today. Talk about three cool things about essential oils, three ways to use them. And then I like to talk about the top 10 oils because these oils are the top 10 that I'll go through with you guys today. They will help about 80 to 90% of a lot of your needs, especially when you're first getting started. Okay. And then, um, you know, as you get familiar with those oils, you can slowly add your habit, like a couple oils a month. And that's what I always recommend to a lot of women is just start with the basics and then add on. I don't want anyone to be overwhelmed. It's, you're just creating this beautiful home for yourself and for your family. And I feel like to get something to stick, you have to just start slowly. So that's what we're gonna do today. Just start slow with the top 10. And I just wanna share some of the ways that I use them personally. Hey guys, if you guys are just getting on, let me know where you're from and where you are in your oil journey. If you guys have never used oils or if you're brand new, um, maybe you just got your box or maybe you've been using for a few years, we can learn from you. So it, as I talk about the top 10, I'd love to hear how you guys use them and I'll just give you a couple of ways I use them. So let's go into this again. This is going live in my VIP group. This is a public group for anyone who uses oils. Okay, so you don't have to be on my team to be in this group. I open it to everybody because I just love educating and I love the community that we have to just come together and ask questions. Everyone's helping each other, which I love, love, love. Okay, so, but at the end of this, if you're ready to get started with oils and you're not working with someone, I would love to guide you on your oil journey, okay, and bring you into our private groups. Okay, you're in Indiana, awesome. I'm moving to Indiana um, in a couple months. So I'm excited, we'll be not too far away from each other, okay? Um, all right, so 
cool, three cool things about essential oils. So one, they are 100% natural, right? Okay, so especially, I'm talking about doTERRA. This is the only brand that I use and trust and um, recommend, and this is what we use in our family. So when you use a doTERRA product, nothing is added to it, nothing's taking, nothing is taking away. It is just the plant. Everything is steam distilled or cold press from the rind, like if it's a citrus or something. So there's no synthetics. There's no artificial ingredients, there's no contaminants, there's nothing but the pure plant, okay? So that's what I like to talk about. And so you guys know when you're going to like Target or your gas station, you're picking up an oil, um, they might have like a fragrant in there, right? So doTERRA is fragrant free, it's just the plants, right? That's what we want, that's what we want in our homes, in our bodies, in our children. We want the real deal and we want something that's natural. And so an essential oil is basically um, from from the plant, right? So it's, every plant has like a little oil sack on it and it's steam distilled from that. So like a peppermint leaf, if you magnified it, you would find little sacks of oils and though that's what they take, those little sacks of oils, okay? So like, for example, again, so concentrated, but one drop of um, peppermint oil, which I'm gonna be, I'll show you guys in a second, is equivalent to 28 cups of, of peppermint tea, okay? So it's very, uh, concentrated, very effective, totally natural, and also that's how it saves us money. It saves us hundreds of dollars a month because uh, you only use a little bit, you know? Um, so they're from petals, from stems, from roots, from, you know, trees. It's from citrus plants, right? So it's from nature. The, the word doTERRA, the name of doTERRA means gift from the earth, okay? And I believe that God gave us all these the plants to use and that our body recognizes them as as nature okay so one they're natural two they are totally effective okay so what i like to do and this is like super basic if you guys raise your hand if you're in the medical field right now because if you are what i'm saying is going to be super basic but like i said i like to keep things super easy to understand so a new person can totally jump on board and understand this. So pretend that this peppermint bottle is a cell in the body, okay? So if you get sick and you go to the doctor and you have a bacterial infection or something and if they give you medication that it can take care of it because it's on the outside of the cell, right? And the medicine is water-based so it can get rid of that. If you have a virus and you go to the doctor and the doctor says go home, like what do they do? They say go home, drink water, rest, let it run its course, right? Because they, a lot of times they don't have something that can penetrate through the cell of your body to get to the inside. Well, an essential oil is an oil and can get through the oil membrane of your cell and go to the cellular level, okay? So that's the easiest way to explain it. But when you use an essential oil, it is goes right to all the cells in your body, okay? So they're very effective. Like I said, they're natural, they're effective, and the last thing, they're very safe. Okay, so we're gonna talk about safety and how to use them. And of course, the more you learn about oils, the more you'll learn what to do and what not to do and everything. But um, there's four different grades of essential oils out there. Hey guys, it's so fun seeing all of you guys on here. Leave a comment, let me know where you're from. It's so fun watching you guys. And, leave, and also, I'd love to know what your favorite oil is. It's kind of fun to hear, to hear that. Okay, so the first oil are synthetic oils, right? So those are the ones in like, um, pine soles or even perfumes that you're wearing on your body. It's totally synthetic. There's like zero benefit. In fact, it's harmful for your body to be breathing it in. Okay, the next is a food grade essential oil and you might find those in sauces or lemon bars or things, but they're not a um, benefit to your body, right? They're food grade. The next is therapeutic and you might find these in spas or chiropractors and maybe they're diffusing them and you will feel better just by you know breathing it in, it's a nice scent, but um, it's not something that you're gonna put in your body internally, right? There's no studies on it, okay? You're not really sure what it is. And then doTERRA is the highest and it's therapeutic um, grade, okay? So that's certified pure therapeutic grade essential oil. And basically they're the ones who did all the studies to, to show that there's no contaminants in there. There's no um, fillers. Oh. My battery is running low, darn it. Uh, I just got back from a run, and so I'm like still like out of breath from the run, but um, I'm gonna have to plug my phone in here. Let me see if I can get a cord really quick. Maybe, I'll just wait a minute. This, this cord, this drawer has a outlet in it. Anyway, so basically, doTERRA goes to the 
natural indigenous source of where the plant grows naturally, right? So we get our lemons from Italy. That's where they grow naturally. We get our um, tea tree from Australia, okay? Or it was known as Maluka. We're changing the name to tea tree. Or if you're in another country, it's tea tree. Um, so we go to the 42 different countries to find like where that plant grows naturally, okay? Um, and that makes sense because that's going to have that best properties, the best compounds, and it's going to be the best for your body and for your health, okay? That's the quickest way I can say to talk about those. I can talk about them a lot more. To learn more about our sourcing, go to sourceyou.com or look at doTERRA's sourcing videos on YouTube. There's so many amazing sources out there, but um, do your research, right? Because there's, there's a lot of companies out there, but doTERRA has been proven to blow every single company out of the water with their sourcing and what they're doing with healing hands to change the world. So anyway, I'm very proud to be part of doTERRA. Okay, so three ways to use essential oils. These are very simple, you guys. Anyone can do it. I, my goal is for you to feel like really empowered that you can like get started with your kit and just start using them, okay? And I'll tell you a couple of things like so when I have a brand new person get started with me and they get their box and they're, you know, like, oh my gosh, I have all these oils. I'll tell them to do like three things, okay? And I'll, t I'll tell you what those are at the end. Um, but it doesn't have to be complicated or hard or um, everything. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is the easiest way to use essential oil. It's the safest way and it's to diffuse or use aromatically, right? So it's basically putting oils into the air. So you're breathing them in. I have my diffuser going on, if you guys can see it right behind me. I'm doing the citrus bloom because it's so beautiful. How many of you guys grab the Mother's Day special? It is so beautiful. Um, so anyway, I have diffusers going pretty much 24 seven in my house, in my kitchen. This is a big one because it does my whole main floor and then we have them in the different bedrooms and one in my workout room. But anyway, so you're getting, you're getting the benefits by breathing it in, okay? And the reason you're doing that is because anything that comes into your nose goes in your olfactory nerve, right to your limbic system, and that's gonna control your mood and emotions, and um, it's getting internally into your body, okay? So this is a great way to get oils into your kids, okay? It's very diluted, obviously, because it's going into the air, okay? And it just, you create a beautiful mood for your home. So that's what I love, you can, that you can create the different moods that you want in your home. As a mom, I'm at home, I, um, you know, I'm with my, my I'm with, or I'm at home all day, but when my kids are at home, I'm home. So I'm in control of what we do in the house. We use music and oils to have those environments. So in the morning, we might diffuse wild orange or um, peppermint, or like I said, right now I'm obsessed with the citrus bloom. It's like always going. In Christmas time, we do the the holiday joy or holiday peace. We do all these different oils to create that mood that we want. After school, we might do basil or peppermint, or again wild orange because you could never go wrong with the wild orange and kids and mood. Um, at night, lavender or serenity. Basically, how, whatever mood you want to create in your home, you can diffuse oils to help get that atmosphere going, right? Plus with a great playlist. Um, I just love what you can just change your home in just a few minutes, okay? The whole atmosphere and plus your own mood. So I always think if mom is in a good mood, the whole family is in a good mood. And if you're having a stressed out day or you're crazy or you're looking at emails or bills and you're stressed out, you know, you can diffuse a good oil and it could really change your mood, okay? Um, so that's one way of doing is just diffusing it in the air. You can also make your own little hand diffuser. Okay, so I'm using peppermint here. I'm just gonna get one drop. Sometimes the hardest thing is just to get one drop. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna rub my hands together. Never touch your eye with oils, okay? You just like breathe it in. Whew, it smells so good. Okay, and I'm gonna use the leftover on my neck. Again, I'm like still sweating from my run. I thought I was gonna have time to shower, and I didn't. Okay, ooh, it smells so good. Okay, so you can make your own little hand diffuser just from doing that, okay? So if you're on the go, or you're, you know, you're not at home, or you're traveling, or whatever, you can do that anytime. Anytime you need like a mommy timeout where you're stressed out, you can go into the other room, grab your oils, and just like sniff, say a prayer, just relax, and then regroup, you know, come back in a better mood. Okay, so that is, life-changing aromatic you can get 
Um, like I said, any kind of diffuser you want. This is the diffuser that comes with the Home Essential Kit, the kit I'm gonna be talking about today. This is the pedal diffuser, it's a four hour diffuser and it lights up and it's cute and all that. So anyway, aromatic is the first way, it's the easiest way, it's the simplest way. You don't have to um, be stressed out about recipes. Everything that you need is right online. Um, doTERRA has recipes in our group. Like after you join, we get a private group. We have tons of recipes. We have a beginner ebook for you, but um, normally, you know, with a size this big, about four to six straps, Sometimes I like to have it a stronger and I'll go five or ten drops in my big guy over here This one is a is a um, like a 15 hour and so I'll do 15 to 20 drops because it's like one drop an hour Okay, just to give you an idea of what to do, but that gets the whole room This will get like a smaller room like a bedroom Okay, so the next way is Topically and thanks for your comments guys. I am reading them and if you are just getting on let me know where you're from, what you're diffusing today. I'd love to hear about it. Okay, so the next way is topical, okay? And so uh, this is one of the ways I started. Actually, I, I did diffuse, and then I started doing topically right away because I was specific on my oils. Like, for my immunity, I needed something, and I started with all of the immune-building oils. I wasn't, like, necessarily trying to create space in my home. I was really just trying to, like, survive <laughs> for myself physically, right? So I was doing oregano and thyme and melissa and black pepper and frankincense and on garden, all the really strong, like, immune-building oils, and I was rubbing my feet down every single day with the oils and the coconut oil, and that was all I knew, right? So I didn't know about um, roller bottles. I didn't know about them. I didn't know about... Um, veggie caps, I didn't know anything. All I knew is put them on the bottom of your feet, right? And so the reason we do that is because your your bottom of your feet has your biggest, their biggest pores, right? It's the least sensitive spot of your body. So anything you put on there is gonna be easily absorbed into your body. And again, we're on our feet all day, they're the least sensitive spot. And so my feet were able to handle uh, like oregano, right? Of course, everything is diluted with a, with a carrier oil. I use fractionated coconut oil, I think that's the best. but. Um, so start at the bottom of the feet when you're first getting started, okay? Do, you could do a couple of drops to, um, when you get your coconut oil. I like to use the doTERRA's fractionated coconut oil, but sometimes I use other brands too. Um, but fractionated coconut oil, because coconut oil has amazing benefits, but also it does not, um, like grease up your socks or your, your pants or anything that you, you're getting it on. Yes, you love to diffuse on guard. It's so good. Um. And so I just do a few drops of essential oil to three or four times the amount of a carrier oil, and then just rub it on the bottom of your feet. Okay, now I use um, roller bottles. I did not know about them at the beginning, but you certainly can like, as you grow in your habit of oils, you can invest in roller bottles and that kind of thing. So I would just rub them on my feet every single day within a um, short period. So within a month, I, I my cycles and my whole life started getting better. And that's why, like after six months of using the products, my life has been like to totally different. That's when I decided to share oils with others. So sometimes you see an instant result, like you instantly feel better and your mood is better. But if you're dealing with something with um, your health, you have to be consistent. You have to use it daily over time because your body is going through healing, right? Um, again, oils don't heal. Uh, we have to be compliant, but um, it was helping my body do what it's supposed to do, okay? So now I know about roller bottles. You can buy a 10 milliliter roller bottle, fill it with oils you want. For an adult, I do 10 to 20 drops of an oil. And for a kid, I do however old they are. So if they're five, they get five drops. If they're, you know, 10, they'll get 10 drops, or, you know, seven, they'll get seven drops in their little roller bottle to um, top it off with fraction and coconut oil. Then you can rub those in the bottom of their feet. A few other places I like to rub oils are, one, the place that it's needed. So if I'm breaking out with a zit, I'm gonna put it right on my zit. Or if I'm dealing with my wrinkle, or um, in my stomach, if I'm bloating, I'm gonna put it right on my, on my uh, stomach, right? Um, if I worked out and I'm like sore, I'll put it right in my muscles, okay? So basically, wherever you are needing that oil, you can put it on. So it's pretty self-explanatory. If I'm cooking and I burn my arm and taking it out of the oven, I'm going to put lavender right on my burn, right? I'm probably not going to put it on the bottom of my feet because I need it right here, right now. So 
Um, hopefully that helps. You're gonna put it where you need it, okay? Um, but again, if you're just getting started at the bottom of the feet, you still get benefit. But the other places I like to put it are along the spine, okay? For myself and for my kids, or I'll even, I'll rub my husband down too. The spine, behind the ears, the temples, um, I like the throat or the back of the neck, um, the elbow crease, the wrist, right? And then I like breathe it in. Um, especially, I want to say this now because it's like summer, it's almost summer here. Do not put any citrus oils on your body when you're going out um, in the sun, okay? Because they're photosynthetic and you will burn. So if you're if you need to have an, a citrus oil, I suggest putting it in your water, which we'll talk about in a second, and drink it or put it in the bottom of your feet, okay? So it's not being exposed to the sun. Um, okay, so I think that's all I'm gonna talk about for topical for right now. And then the last way is internal, okay? And it's now one of my favorite ways um, to use the essential oils, but again, I'm only talking about doTERRA, and I'm only talking about using the oils that say you can use it internally in the bottle. So be smart about this, right? Um, I'm not talking about the gas station oils or anything else. I'm talking about the oils. So I grabbed this frankincense, and in the, I'm in the states. So if you're if you're watching this and you're from another country, um, I don't think every bottle is the exact same as far as oil supplement. But it has supplement facts right there, and it will say for internal use, dilute one drop to four ounces of liquid. Okay, so certain oils you can drink or you can put in a veggie cap and put in your body. Um, so I love sipping on oils all day. So today I'm um, drinking lime because it's like energy and zest and it just like feels so refreshing. And plus we just finished Cinco de Mayo and we're all on the Mexican kick, right? And today's Taco Tuesday, but anyway, so I love the lime, but every morning I have a big quart of lemon water, so I'll do a quart. Uh, with a few drops of lemon before my coffee. I'll get a whole quart down and then I'll drink some sort of citrus throughout the whole day. But I do that because it balances my pH, it helps digestion, it helps me drink more water, it just helps you like feel amazing and alive and like ready to go. And when you're trying to get out the door in the morning, at least you had like a fresh glass of water and some oils and it does help you feel better. So. Um, internal, again, you could take it in the water. Not every oil you're gonna wanna use in the, in the water. That's why I usually use the citrus oils. Um, I like to use lemon, tangerine, green mandarin. Grapefruit is amazing. Um, sometimes slim and sassy, depending on my mood. <laughs> um, peppermint, you can add peppermint and lemon together. That's really nice on a nice cool day. Um, See, I'm sure there's other ones too. So anyway, those are my top, like red mandarin, when, when that comes out, so it gets special a couple times a year. Um, anyway, or you can do them in a veggie cap, and that's if you want the benefit of the oil, but you don't want to taste it, you don't want to rub it on your feet and smell like a pizza going you know, through the day, which that happens to me when I put oregano on my feet. Um, you can buy the little veggie caps, you just open it up, you put in a couple of drops, and you just swallow it down, that's it. Um, there's so many oils you might want to do that with. If you're dealing with digestion, you want to get some oils in there to help with digestion, help with your immunity. If you're feeling like under the weather, we have an awesome flume recipe for you. Um, there's so many different things that you can do and some women um, or men or you know kids, they take them because they're dealing with something specific, right? Um, last thing you can use when you're cooking, I like to add basil, cilantro, lime, lemon or lime, uh, oregano, different things to my food that I'm making, okay? So you can add to your sauces or whatever. So anyway, those are the three ways to use them. There's a lot of different recipes out there, you guys, but I just, again, this is a basic class just to get you started. Now I wanna quickly go through the, the top 10 oils. I'll probably only give you one or two uses that we use because of time. So in no order, I'm just picking them up here, but frankincense, this is the king of all oils. Okay, if you guys are using frankincense right now or any of these oils as I grab them, share what you use them for and I'll read it off, okay? Because I love the community and getting ideas from each other. But frankincense is one of the oils that I use in my night cream. I like the doTERRA, the night cream. And I have frankincense and yarrow palm and geranium in there. So I just add that to my skin routine and I love it because it's so good for um, the, the skin and it's, Good for wrinkles, which starting are you starting with 
on my face, unfortunately. So now I'm trying to erase those. Um, it helps with mood, but anyway, that's how I use it every single day. Also, I like to do a drop under the tongue, okay? So that's frankincense. Peppermint, I love to diffuse because it's just so like energetic, okay? So I, I actually use this a lot. I just keep it right in my kitchen. If you guys can see that cabinet, I have a whole row of oils that I like to diffuse because it's right under my um, diffuser and then also the ones that I like to put my in my oils because my cups are in there. So I keep them available so when I open up my cup or my, my cabinet to get my cup, I add an oil, I put it in my diffuser, like I see them every single day. And then I have another cabinet over there that you can't see that has all my oils, my supplements, every little thing. So it just easily becomes part of the day. But anyway, peppermint, I love diffusing. Um, we were using this last night on my daughter. We put it on her temples because she was studying for a really hard test in science, learning all about the periodic table and all these things. And so she, <laughs> she needed some energy and focus. So we were using that on her temples, okay? Again, we use these oils for so many different things. I'm just giving you a couple of things that we do. Uh, Meluca, but again, they're changing the name to Tea Tree. This is great for any skin issues or wounds or anything. My kids have this in their bathroom because this is what they use if they are getting a zit, right? So my daughter is almost 14 and my son's 12. And so if they get anything that they grab this and they'll just put it on uh, their finger and like dab it right onto their zit and this is what they use and my son also likes to use the hd clear um liquid or oils like the oil the roller bottle and my daughter likes the lotion and they also put that on their face to keep it clear okay but the meluca is like spot treatment for that or the tea tree lemon i've already talked about i use it every single day like this is one of my most used oils because i just use it every single day i like to diffuse it when, especially when we're cleaning the home and it smells like you wanna make, make it look like, or smell like you cleaned all day. Um, and I have this in my cleaners too. You can add this to your on guard concentrator, make your own, okay? Um, peppermint, I have two peppermints in here. Okay, lavender. Um, I love this for lavender baths, okay? So I've been using Epsom salt, baking soda, lavender. I'll add in any other oil that smells beautiful to me at the time. Um, but lavender is a go-to. And another weird thing that I've been using with my sons, um, the Pettigrain is like the manly lavender. It's very similar, but it smells more manly. I've been using that in their baths and saving the lavender for me. Um, they both have very similar benefits, but anyway, I've been obsessed since the Bogos came out with the Pettigrain. Um, oregano, I like, oh, and lavender also, because I was telling you for burns, you have to keep this in your kitchen if you burn yourself. We haven't had this happen in a while, but I feel like I was on a bad streak for a while and I just kept burning myself when I was cooking or doing curling iron or something. Um, you just put this straight on and um, it takes away the burn immediately. It's like kind of crazy how it does that. Oregano was one of the oils that I used and started with and I use like all the time with my um, health that I'm going through, but for the average person, you're gonna get your oregano and you're probably gonna have this bottle for the rest of your life, right? Unless you guys are getting sick a lot um, or under the weather and you want to make a flume recipe, which is frankincense, lemon, oregano, on guard, or maluca, although we'll be changing the name to tea tree, so it'll be called flute probably. Um, and you put those in a, in a capsule or a roller bottle and that's what you've been, you can use those every two hours to boost your immunity quickly in a bind. Um, Digest Zen is our digestive blend, right? So this is exactly what you think it would be for, for all things digestion. Um, if you're dealing with flat gas or bloating or you're eating out at a restaurant. So like I like to make all my food at home or um, if I buy something that is packaged, it's from Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, I really do try to look at, at all ingredients. And uh, But when you're out at a restaurant, you don't always know what they're putting in the food. So if you react, this is a good one to just rub right in the belly, straight or neat or diluted. Put it in a veggie cap if you want or just put it in your water, okay? So you can do any of that. Um, breathe is an awesome oil. We're using this oil a lot more now because of the changing of the weather, seasonal threats, that kind of thing. So my son is reacting to the season. And so we have this going in his room at night. I put the breathe stick on his chest at night. Um, and he likes to like takes a breathe. Um, lozenges, what are those called? Just the, 
the breathe, I think the lozenges, I, I can't remember what they're called. Okay, he, he likes those too. The deep blue, okay, so this is the soothing blend. This is um, two things about this oil. So one, if you're getting menstrual cramps, this is awesome because it just like takes it away right away. It's fast. I like the rub also, which is the lotion that has this in it. Um, but also this is the oil, like if your husband or, or a partner is not like totally on board with oils yet and you like brought them home and, and you're showing them all your stuff and they're not believers, give them the deep blue and like maybe give them a back massage or something because instantly they will love oils, they will love doTERRA. We call this like the gateway um, into doTERRA for the men um, because they will notice a difference, right, um, right away. And you know, if they're out working hard and they come home and their back's starting to feel better, um, they're going to be believers, okay? Um, let's see, On Guard. And so Digest Zen, Breathe, and On Guard, and Deep Blue are doTERRA's blends. So they made unique blends that are just beautiful. And um, that's, that's why they're like blends versus the other oils. They're single oils, it's just the oil. So On Guard is a mix of beautiful oils. I didn't read the other the mixes, but it has wild orange, clove bud, cinnamon leaves, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, and rosemary. So it's seriously beautiful. Um, I had this going like a lot in the fall, okay, especially when we're switching seasons again and it's like everyone's bringing something home. This is a great way to protect the whole home. So I love it. You can put a drop in your oatmeal, you can put it in your pie, <laughs> you can just. Um, just diffuse it all the time or make roller bottles and rub your kids spine or feet before school to protect them also if you're dealing with negative um, energy or people in your life you can dilute it and rub it on your chest and it kind of protect your heart from um, the outside world um, let's see Franken I think I actually I have two extra oils in here I wonder if I missed any of the top ten I don't have my list in front of me mm. I think that's it. Let's see here. Norm, I just have, this is the natural solutions guide, the class. That's what I like to follow when I do the classes, but anyway, I think that's the top 10. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah, that was it. Okay, so I don't want it extra here. So these top 10 oils, you guys, this is what I start most people at, okay? Our, excuse my hair thing. Um, we have, um, hundreds of people that are joining our team every month. We're at 7,600 people in our community worldwide that have joined us. And I would say majority of the people start with this kit. It's called the Home Essential Kit. It's a beautiful collection because like I said, it's the top 10 oils, plus it comes with the diffuser, okay? Um, I want people just getting started and working on their health one step at a time. So that's why I, I um, recommend this. There are a lot. There are higher kits and collections that have more product. If you want to get started with more, you're going to get bigger discounts with those. Um, but I would say majority of the people that I, I talk to start with this. So let me tell you, first of all, let me ask you guys some questions. Thank you for watching to the end. I've tried to keep it around a half hour. I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, <laughs> let's see, I'm a, maybe a little bit over, but um, let me share with you guys how to get started and what your next steps look like, okay? So I posted a link at the top of this with my Start Here page. I'll do it again in the comments, okay? And um, I'm, I'm, maybe I'll keep this as the pinned post in this group also, okay? Um, just to educate every single person in, that comes into our group. Um, but when you, when you join, if you are not working with someone, I would love to guide you. I love working with women and mothers that want to create a natural environment for their family to help for them to care for themselves so they can care for others because that was my story and that's what I'm like passionate about. Um, go to that link and you follow the steps to get started, right? So again, you could pick any kit. You could even get the $35 um, enrollment and pick and choose your oils that you want if you don't want the kit, right? Um, it's up to you, I want you to do what's best for you, but basically what you're going to get in that kit also your, it includes also your membership, which is a year membership to get 25% off on all your products, including their first order, which is why they, they bundle it up and they give you like a big saving, so most people get the kit. Um, you are going to get access to 
our community, which I think is like one of the best things about joining our team and, and joining um, doTERRA because you're not alone. Oh, right, it's almost dead now. Uh, you're not alone, right? So we have hundreds of people, thousands of people actually in our community to help you, to answer questions, to guide you. Um, you're never alone on your journey and someone has always been through what you're going through. If you are uh, up in the middle of the night nursing a baby, we have Australian team that's up on the Facebook group, you know, and talking and so you're always going to have um, access to information and questions and all that. Um, and then you're going to get access to BOGOs, free monthly products. We have multiple giveaways going on in our private group every single month where you can um, learn more and get free goodies and we really try to add lots of value into your life and educate you and go at your own pace, right? So everything's at your own pace. We have um, online like little, little classes. We have set up with um, in the pin post like start here and every single thing you need to know about dilution, about recipes, about videos to watch, about every little thing that you need and it's, everything's at your own pace. Okay, so it's, it's there for you, and if you share oils with others, it's also for them too. And let's see, you're gonna get, like I said, BOGOs, monthly specials, and um, access to us and access to me. We can schedule a call, get your wellness consult going. You're gonna get a goodie box or um, bag in the mail from me, and anyway, that's it. So, whew, you guys, let me have a sip of water for a second. With the lime. Welcome, welcome, you guys. If you guys are just getting on, you're gonna have to go back to the beginning and watch. And also, I will say monthly, I post the specials on, in the pin post in this group. But also, if you go to my Start Here page every month, so let's say you're watching the recording, go to the, the Start Here page on my blog at bonniedonahue.com for the monthly specials, okay? Or, as always, message me, and I will love to help you find the right kit for you to get you started and start you on your oil journey. All right, bye everyone. Have an awesome day and I will talk to you soon.